Now that wants to watch is out boys. I'm going to show you how to trade with wants to watch and FIFA 22. boys and girls welcome to another video and today i'm going to show you how to trade with wants to watch on fifa 22 those beautiful cards are out and it's time for me to show you how to trade with them because it's very delicate how to trade you can lose some money and you can win on the other hand some money so it's really important to how to trade because i made these mistakes uh, before like in fifa 20 and fifa 19 and i don't want you to make those mistakes and by not doing those mistakes, you can actually make some coins. With the first one, my first tip for you, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. And from all of these, you can uh, form like your trading portfolio for the, the ones to watch. The first one is buy the players as soon as they score. What I mean as soon as they score. For example, Grealish has a card, you know? If Grealish scores, you need to buy the card in the first one or two minutes after that after that like one or two minutes has passes not don't touch the don't stop don't touch the card uh because if you touch the card after like five or six minutes everyone will see the news everyone will hear about that British scores and everyone will jump to the game and buy the card and if you buy the card after like five or ten minutes what will happen is a very big mass of players will buy the card and they will try to quickly sell them so what will happen for example if Grealish is like 20k let's say he will go to 50k and then from 50k he will go down back to 30k and if you buy the card at 50k you will lose some coins uh, trust me guys I did that mistake I did that mistakes a couple of times I bought the card when i saw the goals after like five or six minutes and it was too late uh and it's never too late doesn't apply on this method it's too late after six five or ten minutes so what you want to do is if you are watching the game just open your companion app and put the player uh that is playing as wants to watch as soon as he scores boom buy the card and five or six minutes later sell the card and my second tip for you is from this one sell the hype and never the news so whenever you have the hype create around the player whenever he scores always sell the hype and never ever let your card until he gets the upgrade for example as i i'm gonna say alaba scores okay alaba scores for real madrid and you're very happy you bought the card you bought them for a good deal and what you're doing you're waiting for him to get the upgrade and you're telling yourself that alaba is like 30k whenever he gets the upgrade as an 86 oh man i'm gonna triple my money he will go to 100k and that's not usually what happens what usually happens is whenever the card gets an upgrade they'll go and tank the price i'm gonna show you a couple of examples with this and uh, let's hop to a fitbin so i can show you so let's take the example i want to see but why but why i i remember let's go to the generations i remember this so good this was my first time that i was trading but and this was his wants to watch card i remember buying this but card like i don't know the price 40 60k and i was telling myself yeah man he'll get an 84 or an 86 and this card will go up in price and look if you go to and that that's that's when it happens look i bought he was like 13k he got the hype i bought around 35k telling myself oh there's a day or two and this card will go as an 84 and look what happened he was 34k as soon as he got the upgrade boom he got down to 20 26 27k or even 24k and that's what happens with wants to watch card uh i want to remember other cards if i'm uh or let's take for example Ben Yedder. Uh, ben Yedder in I don't know which FIFA. I think in FIFA 19 maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, w which version? Yeah, I think it's FIFA 20. 
in FIFA 20, this was the one to watch Ben Yedder. And look at what happens with Ben Yedder. Here he goes the hype, he goes the hype, he goes, takes the upgrade, goes up to 650 coins. And whenever he gets the upgrade, look what happens. He tanks at 470k. So that's a 100k drop down, and which is massive, boys. So look, here it's February 7, uh, where the hype starts. It starts until the team of the week. And whenever he gets the upgrade on like for Wednesday and something like that, he tanks. And that shit always happens, man. Tip number three for you guys is buy the cards as soon as they get the upgrade and what i'm gonna tell you is the consequence of my tip number two so as i told you players will get upgrade and what happens when they get upgrade they will go down in price it's very rare i mean very rare when a card gets it uh, wants to watch that the wants to watch will go up in price like 90 percent of time the wants to watch will go down in price and it's the opportunity for you to buy when the price goes down. What I mean by that? For example, uh, let's imagine a card getting the upgrade. Uh, and let's say he was like 50k. Whenever he gets the upgrade at like 6 p.m. UK time, the price will go down from 50k to let's say 30k. Uh, after 3-4 hours, the price will hit the lowest. Uh, wait 3-4 hours. And after that, when you feel that it came to the lowest point, to like 25, 30k, it's your time to buy. Because whenever this happens, is the, the price will go down, but after that, you have weekend league rewards. And with weekend league rewards, people will have more coins. And by having more coins, the market will go up. And eventually, this is a new card. This is a wants to watch card, which is the best version of a card, and it's a hype around it and the player will go up. I remember that with Ben Yedder and that happened uh, to me. I waited for Ben Yedder to get the upgrade and as soon as he got, I waited for three, four hours. He was like 250K, I bought that at that time. I thought he was very low and after a day, he went up for 400,000 points. I bought two of them and in just like a matter of 12 hours, I did like three, 400,000 coins. So that's tip number three. Always wait the players get the upgrade. After that, wait for three, four hours. It will hit the lowest point, And after that, buy them and wait until we can leave rewards. It should have a big uh, boost. I'm not telling you a 100K boost, maybe like a 10K, 15K, 50K, 100K, you never know. It depends on the hype of player. It depends on the upgrade and it depends on the demand on the market. Tip number for you for guys is buy the gold cards. Whenever there is a player that scores a big goal, like, like let's say a big card, for example, I don't know, uh, who's like Lukaku for example. Lukaku scores a goal after he scores like two goals and a hat trick. And you know that the card will go out of packs and you know that the card is very in demand. What you need to do is whenever he scores and i mean because once to watch is very precise on the time it's it's a matter of time when you're gonna buy the lowest and when you're gonna sell the highest you will never know the lowest and the highest no one can predict the market and no one can know when's the lowest and when's the highest price but what what you want to do is whenever a card scores a goal and he has a big potential to go into team of the week is you're gonna buy his gold card and whenever he he scores a goal two three goals you want to sell his card his gold card after the hype whenever the hype is created around the player and you're sure that this card will go into team of the week sell it don't wait until the card gets the upgrade it's always sell the hype and never sell when he gets the upgrade because whenever he will get the upgrade or whenever he's in team of the week predictions and everything like that the price will tank i'm I, I will bring you some examples on the screen boys uh it happens so many times i remember that and the best time is like an hour after a game or like half an hour after the game maximum after that sell the card sell the gold cards so not only that you can uh work with the ones to watch you can trade also his gold card on the market if it's like in demand card or a hype out card I'm not telling you that buy, for example, Gold Malin, who's 80 rated, 
because you will not have a big pr a price fluctuation. What I'm telling you is buy the Varan, buy the Lukaku, buy the... Maybe Messi is too expensive and you're gonna lose on the tax, but I'm telling you those kinds of cards, Hakimi, you know, these big players, not the Discord's value, not Saul, not uh, Malin. So that's tip number for you, for you guys. So my final tip for you guys is trading actual team of the week cards. And but what I mean is, you need to trade with ones to watches. And this I don't think applies on the first two three weeks. This applies after like a month, after two months, when the ones to watch are released and they're well in the market. So what you need to do is apply the ones to watch cards. Uh, go to like maybe let's say 50 maximum price and 100k minimum buy now and what will this do is you want to have uh, open bid cards so for example if upamecano is open bid uh another upamecano open bid now you have only the batch one the batch two will come in like after a week but i want to get this card as soon as possible the video so what you you'll see that the prices will go down they will go up and it will fluctuate but after a month the eyes on the ones to watch will shaft to another promo so what will happen that the demand will decrease and this will create you an opportunity for you to buy and get into the market and what i mean is you're gonna try to buy the ones to watch cards on open bid and uh trust me boys i had so many years when ones to watch cards was going for like 30k 40 50k and i bought them at 25 30k on open bid because the demand was wasn't there the, he wasn't playing that week or uh he doesn't he didn't have a big matchup so there is not in, that much demand on the card and what that happened is i had the opportunity to get into the market and start buying them on open bid so you need to put those cards into a transfer list and just try to buy them on open bid and trust me guys you will have so many good deals you can make 20k cards 30k cards and maybe if we're speaking like the big cards you can increase your you can increase your price tag you can maybe put like uh 90k as a max price and buying start at 200k and what this will do is uh you will have the big cards now i mean the max buy now is high on the cards so maybe put this at 200k to have the big cards and this as you can see you have hakimi upamicano now the melons the grillishes aren't there so only you have those kinds of players so this is a very good method to trade you will have so many opportunities but i'm not telling you to do this right now just wait a month or two not two months is too much like a month after the wants to watch promo and get into the market Try this method and trust me boys, you will have so many good deals. So I don't have any more tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on another video, man. Peace.